What's your advice to skating a handrail? Lean forward and go buzz off. What do you mean? Explain it for the people that don't know that those terms. Alright, so if you're board sliding a rail, you want to just find the sweet spot. You don't need to like, there's a little sweet spot that you can for sure get on. Once you're on, just lean forward and do not try to bail because if you pop and try to bail after you pop, you're going to get smoked. What about a 50? How do you do a 50-50 on a handrail? That's especially you go balls out. You just ollie, all find the sweet spot. There's a sweet spot. That's all I can say. There's a sweet spot. All right, give just, us a demonstration. All right. So if I'm about a 50 this handrail, I'd say my sweet spot would be like right here, the ollie on. Right there? Yeah, like right here's the sweet spot and just balls out. What's what's a few mistakes that a, a few beginners do? Like uh, that, they think about handrails. A few mistakes, like once you pop and you just get scared and bail, you're still gonna land right here and it's gonna be all done if you bail. That's why you gotta just commit, even though you might not get it, just... Cause this is scary as hell, dude. This shit is scary as hell. Do you, right. do you think a lot of beginners think they're going to get on right here at the beginning? Oh, no. Because, like, I remember when I first started skating, I thought whenever I hit handrails, I got on there. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? No. I mean, if you're, if, you're, if you're swagging it, but if you're barely about a 50 of this for your first time, I don't think you should try hitting it right here. So commit a couple times, and no matter what happens, just tell yourself that's the worst that's gonna happen, and that kind of like eliminates your fear of it. So then you just gradually have to build up confidence to, I was scared to even hop on it at first, but once you get on it a couple times, you can start building your confidence to lean forward a little bit more, and that helps you keep your balance all the way down, and then you just gotta not toe drag. We'll give it one more go right here. All right, right here. To skate a handrail, you have to have the confidence and I, my best advice is to actually know the trick you're doing. Like if you're doing a board slide, please have a board slide down or a 50-50 trick down like on a flat bar. Practice as much as possible before you skate a handrail. <laughs> because a handrail, you can sack it, you can hit your head, you can get hurt. You can actually get hurt. But if you're really confident with skating rails, like flat bars, and you feel like you're ready to take it to the next level, then you can. Then I believe that you can do the handrail. It's just, it's so new that it's going down, it has stairs, it's slanted, it might feel different, but by having that confidence on a flat bar, if you can do it first try every try, if you feel that way, or if you're very consistent, and you're not that afraid on a flat bar, then go for it on a handrail. For a handrail, my experience is for the down rail, it has that third, that middle bar right there, that second bar. I always use that as an aiming method. So, like, let's say I'm going down a handrail and there's like these bars. I aim for the middle one, that's my get on. I tell myself that's where I'm gonna get on. But if there's none, like the one I did a 50 50 on, you have to just use your best judgment and get on. Be confident, go for it, and stand on top of the rail. I've done a 50-50 before where I was not on top of the rail, and it led to me hitting my head. I got seven staples, yes, yada, yada, yada. But I'm saying this because you wanna be fully committed. You wanna be confident. Just have confidence, and you got it. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and go try a handle if you're ready. Sign out until the next one. Yeah.